All right, as she just mentioned, we are going to be seeing some very high temperatures this week. You know, we'll keep everyone posted on cooling centers that might be open, but you know, having to crank up that AC will have to happen. It will have to happen. I mean, when you see temperatures in the triple digits at times, Mallory, add in that heat index, so the humidity, we're probably going to feel like the mid 100s at times. It is going to be hot out there. So keep that in mind. It's going to be towards the end of the week. So you have a couple days to prepare because tomorrow not only is it going to be the coolest of the week, but also likely the wettest. So keep that in mind, at least to take full advantage of that cooler air. And by cool, I mean 85 degrees. So let that sink in for you. Temperatures eventually rise to nearly 100 towards the end of the week and skies also remain on the drier side. So not only do we get that heat, but the humidity also sticks around. Radar is dry now, but likely we see those changes as we start the day tomorrow and you can see exact exactly why as we zoom out. Mostly dry skies over us now. You see that plume of moisture from the Carolinas and also some, some showers right now over the Ohio Valley. They kind of come together over us and dump some much needed rain tomorrow and give us some rumbles of thunder. So we're likely going to see that tomorrow as we start off the day. Look, models even show by about 10 o'clock temperatures mid to upper 70s. You feel that humidity in the air and look, those showers and storms really fire up all across the eastern shore and in central Maryland. Some heavier downpours are likely with that. At least cool the temperatures and I do think by about rush hour, most of us will remain on the dry side. So finally clearing out looking significantly better out there. It's likely once we get to Tuesday, we get that next shot of rain starting off a little bit cooler. So low 70s, so a little bit better. Yes, we get that next shot of showers and storms though midday, likely seeing them fire up, but look almost near 90 degrees. So less of a chance of a cool off as they fire up on the earlier side. So likely seeing those showers and then we get a break later on into the week of less chances of rain. Rain chances likely drop as we get later on as we take a peek. I mean, Thursday, Friday, I mean, it's going to be pretty hit or miss as all we're talking about is that heat out there. Our next temperature outlook for the next six to 10 days, you know, the redder we get, the warmer we are. Well, we're heading in that red direction, likely seeing temperatures almost nearly 10 degrees above where we should be for this time of year. We should be right about 90 and you can see 99 forecasted 97 for Saturday. That's until our next cold front comes and we're not talking about cold air. We're talking about comfortable air, at least a little bit more comfortable back to let's say the low 90s tomorrow, certainly more comfortable. And you know what's most comfortable? Buy an AC unit and hopefully you'll get that many chances this week. Of course, temperatures rise as we get to Thursday. So if you're maybe going to hang out and watch lacrosse out in Sparks, keep in mind, make sure you bring water with you. Stay hydrated as we get near 100. Still hot and showery as we get into the weekend and hopefully that'll cool us off a bit.